first tonight, we're learning that the man accused of forcing himself onto an 18 year old in an Orlando hotel is no stranger to law enforcement. West 2's Marley Martinez tells us just how long that suspect could stay behind bars now. Frederick Howard is in jail. The state attorney says he's been here many times before. Oh, you were arrested for attempted sexual battery. The 54 year old went in front of a judge this week after deputies say he tried to assault an 18 year old at the stable suites on Monday. According to the arrest report, the victim was in a hotel room and heard a knock at the door. They opened it and investigators say Howard made his way inside, forcing the victim onto the bed, covering their mouth, holding them down and tried to unbuckle his pants. At some point, the victim was able to scream and that's when the arrest report says Howard got off them and took off. The charges presented here are very serious and my office will take them as such. State Attorney Monique Worrell's office is now reviewing the case. She says Howard has more than three decades of history with the criminal legal system. Based on Mr. Howard's history, there is certainly a concern as to whether or not or what type of danger Mr. Howard poses to our community. And the prosecutors in this case will certainly take those things into consideration in making charging decisions and resolution decisions as this case moves forward. The state attorney says if Frederick Howard is convicted on all charges, he faces a maximum of 26 years in prison. I think as a community, we should all be sad and looking for ways that we can address individuals like this effectively because what we've done thus far hasn't been effective. In Orlando, Marley Martinez, WESH 2 News. The suspect was just released from jail a week before the alleged hotel incident. In May, he was arrested on a carjacking charge. The state attorney said investigators were not able to contact that victim, so Frederick Howard was entitled to release. Less than an hour ago, Orlando police put out a statement saying, quote, it is disappointing that yet again the investigative efforts of our agency are being unjustly scrutinized by the state attorney. We'll have more from the police department and the state attorney on West 2 News at 5.